Let's hear from Terry Venables, the current Leeds United manager. He said recently the job description very differently to that which he found when he got to Ellen Road, and now he finds himself firefighting. Things have changed since I've been in here a very short time. But uh, I, I'm really dealing solely on the short term at the moment. It's short term, week by week? Yeah, it's game by game. It's dealing with the next game and trying to get the maximum out of it. Um, we're in the results business at this end, at my end of the, uh, of the club. And, and it, gets, it gets more and more difficult, but, but only difficult. It's not impossible. No part of you thinks, well, this is nonsense. How can I run a team of course. when the best players are being offered for sale? I don't yeah. know if they're coming or going. Have you? Yeah. From my point of view, personally, yes, that's, a, that's a, a, again, huge frustration. You know, but I have a choice. Pack in and walk away, or carry on with that's this it. with the handicap. That's it. And then you think you've got a way up. Whether if if you 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 go down that road and consider it, I'm not saying you do it, but you consider it. You think yourself, well, um, like you've said, this is this is not not the way it should be. But you have a choice, and you you, you wonder, you know, who are you letting down in the middle if you do if you take that road. Um, and then you've got to decide whether you want to do it or you want to carry on. So that's, that's what you do. Have you been tempted? Have you wondered? Well, you, you, listen, you, I, I don't think any of us don't weigh up our situation at some time or another. I'm sure you have. You know, from what I've heard, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I think my bosses have. <laughs> no, but you, 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 you get frustrated or you, you, you weigh some things up and you say, like, am I happy with that? Can I do anything about it? Yes, I can. He's a decent man. I can speak to him. If you can do something about it, we'll do it. If you can't, you've got to get on. You've got to make those decisions. That's why I've got the job, I expect, so to, to, to try and do it, to try and make sure there's not too much damage to the team while that's going on. And maybe next year, it, the financially will be better. And, and, and I think, you know, during the season, I've got to try and stick the whole thing together as best as I can. Is the most dispiriting part of that when there's a player you really like, you want to keep him, you want it as part of your plans, and then because the club needs the money, they say, well, he can go. Is that the hardest bit for you? Yeah, it when is. When it's somebody you don't it want is. to go. It is. When, 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 you know, I, I think I should be able to say he don't go, because that's, that's the agreement. But the you club don't have that feel, so. No, no, because, you know, quite frankly, because the club feel, well, you know, you can make your choices, but this has got to go, you know, this, this player, this player has got to go to, to repair the situation, you know, and, uh, and, and it's the people at the top that count. The very latest is Woodgate. As we sit here now, what's the situation? Um, well, as, as we sit here now, uh, there's a lot of talk, a lot of speculation. There, as far as I know, there's not been an offer for, for Woody. And uh, there's one thing, I would do everything I can to make sure that don't happen. And if he goes? Well, it's, 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 it's not just about making a crucial decision when he goes. It's, it's been going on with other players. It's not, I want all the players. I don't just want Woody. I mean, Woody's a f terrific player and a good lad. A lot, I think a lot of him. And, uh, but it's, it's all the players. You know, I mean, we, we want to keep them together if we can. If we can't, we've then got to do the best we can. Can you handle whatever they throw at you? Whatever happens? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, that's, that is the job. Terry Venables with plenty to think about prior to this game. They tried to sell Fowler. That didn't happen. The Seth Johnson deal has collapsed. Plainly they need money in. Would you expect Jonathan Woodgate to still be a Leeds player by the time his transfer window shuts? Um, I hope he is um, because he's a tremendous player. Um, but the way you know, I'm not party, I don't know what's going on in, in, in Leeds anymore, but th what Terry says, are they seem to need money desperately. Um, they've tried to raise it through Robbie Fowler, it's failed. Seth Johnson, from what I've been told, it's... So, it makes other people in there vulnerable for people to come in and uh, get. I'm sure Terry can't wait. Um, I bet he, he's delighted this new system that the transfer window closes in January because if it didn't, can you imagine what would be going on until the end of the season with him? So he's delighted with that. I think he, he, he honestly hopes, and I hope, for the lead supporters. And I've got great friends and great players out there who are brought to the club and they keep in touch with me that uh, you don't want, they, they don't want Woody to go, I don't want Woody to go. 
And, uh, but someone's going to have to go, it would appear. He's a fantastic player. I, I don't know the circumstances of what they can do. If it's if it, the club are that desperate for money and uh, the only the only uh, club uh, or the only player people want is Jonathan Woodgate, then that makes Jonathan Woodgate very vulnerable How indeed to leave. How difficult is Terry Venable's job at the moment? Because it would appear he has no say in who comes and who goes. That wasn't the case for you, was it? No. Um, I, I can't understand, uh, Richard, where all the money's type of thing. You know, we, we say, say I spent a hundred million there. Take the Ferdinand and Keane, uh, after they've been sold, um, that's recouped about 75 million. So what's left there now is I've spent 25 million. And 75 million? Is being brought back in, yes, what? roughly. Uh, when I and Keane? When, no, when I'd left, when we, it'd been about 40 million, uh, recouped out a hundred we'd spent, so that's 60 down. Then there's Ferdinand has been bought, uh, Ferdinand's been sold, so that's taken it to 30 million. Uh, Keane has been sold, so that's dropped it down. And I think it's probably shocked Terry that it's saying, well, why do we have to sell? I'm sure he came in on the back of thinking, we've got to raise 15 million, Ferdinand will be sold, and you'll get the rest, but he hasn't got that. And well, what's, what's what is the continue? answer to that question? What's why do Leeds have to keep selling them? I don't know. I'd love to know myself. Because uh, when I left, I was aware that we needed to raise 15 million. And that, that's right, if the, uh, we, if, we, if the chairman or any but chairman wants to raise money, you let them do it. And I left the club uh, when I got the sack, presuming that Terry would have to do the same as what I was told. Uh, and it's amazed me since that um, he's be, it, there seems to be one after the other. Um, they've left themselves open a great deal. It looks like that people know, well, Leeds are desperate. They're going in, taking advantage of them, uh, in, in my opinion, trying to strike deals. Uh, that, uh, knowing that Leeds are desperate for money mm. and you just hope uh, Newcastle are a great club, run well, great manager uh, you know, are they thinking the same way? Um, because if, if Jonathan Woodgate, if they get him for 10 million uh, and Rio has been bought for 30, he's a bargain at 10 million pounds, really is